Hi guys, welcome to another episode. I'm driving again, um, so my apologies for not looking at the camera. This is, I, I feel a little bit like Joe Bonamassa. Um, I'll tell you why, because Joe Bonamassa goes on what he calls guitar safaris. Um, and he, he like heads off and goes to music shops and, and hunts out um, certain guitars that he's been after for a while. And that's kind of what I've started to do. And it's really unintentional. Um, I didn't mean to. I, um, I've been looking for a certain guitar for a while now and I haven't been able to find one. Until recently, uh, well, about two hours ago actually, <laughs> I've, been, I've been looking for a double neck guitar. Um, and the, the one that I really wanted is um, £7,000. And I can't, I can't really justify that. Um, so I, I thought, oh, I know, I'll, I'll get the, um, I'll get the lesser of the range, if you like. And I've been able to find one. And all of a sudden, I was on uh, the wonderful Facebook marketplace this morning, and I found the guitar that I'm looking for. It's not the exact one, but it's it's a 1977. Um, Ibanez double neck in white and it's literally seven miles from my house who would have thought that so I guess this is what you call a mini guitar safari so I'm not going to it's a private sale is this so I, I'm not going to take you guys into somebody's house uh, but uh, once if, if the deal goes ahead I will uh, I'll, I'll show you the guitar I'm very, very excited. It could be New Guitar Day. Stay tuned. Well, that guitar didn't work out, I'm afraid. Um, it, it, it wasn't quite right. There were, there were bits on it that weren't right, and it didn't look right, and it didn't sound right, unfortunately. Uh, would have been nice, but I found another one. This one um, I'm hoping is right, and I've got to drive to Wembley for it. So this is this is a proper guitar safari, isn't it? So yes, I'm I'm on my way to Wembley now. Again, it's a private sale, so um, I can't I won't be taking the camera in there. Um, and my dad's coming with me as well, so that would be a nice little road trip with my dad. So uh, yeah, st stay tuned. Let's see what happens now. Will it be another? Will it be another? Oh dear, it's wrong. Oh, will, will I be showing you a nice white double neck? We'll see. So, did I get it? Yes, of course I did. Here we go. Look at that. It's not the Gibson. It's the Epiphone. Like I said, I can't really justify spending seven grand or so just for one song. But I can justify getting one of these. These are really quite rare these days. It was, it was quite hard to find. So, the guy that I got it from, um, he, he was a metal player. And he, he had it tuned down to um, D. So... It's got really thick strings on there, um, not the type of thing I use. So I'm now going to restring both necks and uh, give it a bit of TLC. So there we go. Epiphone case. Very nice. Right, let's get restringing. Here we go. Okay, let's get started. This is going to be a long and tedious process, so uh, I think I should speed this up. We don't want to be here for hours and hours now, do we? Here we go. So, I've got some crimson, um, some crimson fret rubbers. And I've been using these for a little while now, and they're fantastic. 
he's gonna need it. Frets are actually in really good condition on this. Um, it's been really well looked after. And I think it's not that old. Well, it certainly doesn't look that old. Um, and Guy didn't know much about it, but it, it's, um, yeah. It's not really been played that much. My gain. <laughs> so I've got some more crimson goodies here. This is based on a recipe used for over three centuries to clean the best stringed instruments. Yes, it's fretboard and finish cleaner. Always use before the fretboard restorative to open up the pores of the wood. So I'll get spraying then. Okay, so on with the fretboard restorative, another, another crimson product. Here, yeah, not used these before. Um, oh, it says gentle on your guitar on your hands. You can use the excess to condition your hands for glowing skin and delicate fingers, but keep away from children. Children, you're not allowed to have delicate fingers and glowing skin. Not until you're 18. Hmm. So I'm going to use some Sainsbury's multi-purpose polish wipes now because this headstock is bad. Here we go. This thing really needed to clean. It's filthy. Okay. So, just before I put the strings on, I like to put, so again, this is crimson. Um, I used to use, uh, what did I used to use? I think I just used to use lead, pencil lead, um, to, uh, to just just to rub in the nut um but this this is better this is crimson this is crimson's slippery slots nut sauce you don't want to say that with a lisp would you slippery slippery slots nut sauce i think toby prefers um well he doesn't prefer it's just that he has some uh is the is it the big big bend's nut sauce is it yeah but i like the crimson it's very good stuff Okay, on with the strings in just a mow. It doesn't really matter uh, whether there's a trim or not. I always, I always put some sort of um, nut sauce in in uh, in the nut before I restring any guitar. And um, like I said, whether it's a trim or not, I just think it helps a little bit with the tuning. Okay, so. I'm now about to put on. I've got the right ones here. Elixir. I've been using Elixir strings for probably 10, 15 years now. I, I think they're the, personally, I think they're the best strings out there. Um, I love them. I love them. A lot of people don't like the coating. Um, I love the coating myself and I've yet to try the, um, I think they're called the OptiWeb, aren't they? I've yet to try those. Uh, when I was doing a guitar show recently for Yamaha, uh, I'm speaking to one of the um, one of the Elixir guys, and he really kindly gave me a set of these uh, the new strings. Now I'm going to try them. I'm going to restring my Les Paul, and uh, I'm, I'm going to give them a I'll give an outing on the Les Paul. Um, so I've never tried those, so I'm looking forward to those. But 
I'm going to stick with what I know for now and use these. Um, this is the 12 string. Obviously, I've got the um, six string equivalent to go on the six string neck. So the 12 string light, 10 to 46. This should take me two days. So, th there's the first neck. Get all this nasty stuff off here in a sec. And then, I'll start on the other neck. So after a nice cup of tea, um, I'm now going to tackle the six string neck. In theory, this shouldn't be quite as hard. It should be half as hard, shouldn't it? Okay, let's do this. Again, I'm going to be using crimson based on a vintage recipe, cleaner, restorative, I'll give it a bit of a, the threads are in quite good condition I must say, I'm going to give it a bit of a rub down with the rubbers, and then what do we do, oh yeah there we go, and then I shall make my nut slippy.
Back to the elixirs, um, 10 to 46 on the six string now. Um, still using the Nano Web. Like I said, I'm going to use the OptiWeb on um, on my Les Paul. I'll restring those. I'll let you know how I get on with those anyway. But yep, onto the stringing part. Nearly there. So, um, that's the six string restrung. Um, I've just noticed, I've just plugged my tuner in and I've got a wobbly jack. So now I have to take this back plate off. And um, there's a little scratch there. Can you see that? Um, that'll come out. Yeah. Take my wobbly, sort of wobbly jack out. Give it a bit of a clean, um, and then I'm going to show you something cool. Don't go anywhere. Okay, time for my little ingenious idea. Um, now, on the guitar show, I use um, I, I use just two straps, and they've got um, they've got transmitters attached to them. Number one. Look. So, um, when I have a guitar that's obviously not in the normal, with this got a strap in the normal position, um, for example, uh, my SG. And now this, uh, it needs the, the strap lock would need to be the other way for it to fit. So what I do is I screw a little piece of leather to the back of the guitar um, where the strap button would be, and I attach this. Um, I'll take that screw out for now. Attach the strap button using tiny little screws. So just on where the strap button would be on the back of the guitar, and then this strap locks to it so it's the right way around so I don't need to get another strap and um, so on the back of the guitar it looks like that if you can see that will be the right way around cool okay so here's something that is like a pet pet hate of mine okay and a lot of guitar manufacturers do this so please stop doing this you guitar manufacturers um, as you can see on the end sorry my camera works not been very good today epiphone there you go epiphone uh, limited edition custom shop okay I didn't know epiphone had a custom shop but there you go apparently they do and you can see there's some horrible sticky marks on top of there why do you insist on putting stickers on on guitars? You get those stickers that you know that have got like the foil back that just peel off, and yeah, that's cool. But why do you always insist on putting stickers on that don't come off and leave sticky, horrible marks and residue? It, it it's not on there. I've ranted. I think that's the first time I've had a rant on this channel. <laughs> I'm quite pleased with myself now. Anyway, stop putting stickers on there. Yeah. So guys, here it is. It's all finished and looking pristine and beautiful. Um, I'm not going to play what 
you're expecting me to play. Um, if you want to hear that song, that certain Eagles song, uh, you're going to have to come see the story of Guitar Heroes. Um, I'll be using it on our next show, which is um, it's the Theatre and Convention Centre at Southport, and that is on the um, there's a calendar behind there, and that's on the 26th of April of this month. So uh, yeah, do do come and see us, and you'll be able to hear this in all its glory, and well for the reason that I bought it. But uh, I will play something on it now, just have a so you can have a quick listen to it, and so I can have a quick listen to it. So um, thanks very much for watching this video. Oh, my phone's just pinged. Oh, it's pinging again. Should have turned it off, shouldn't I? Oh well. Um, so yeah, thank you for um, liking and subscribing. Thank you for uh, well, thanks for coming to see the guitar show as well. You, you you've been great. I really do appreciate that. There's lots of uh, lots of YouTube watchers that do come and see the show. So uh, really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so maybe I'll see you on the 26th of April, uh, 2018. If you're watching it in a year's time, it's gone. Um, yeah, Theatre on Convention Centre in Southport. In the meantime, um, well, I hope you enjoy a bit of this. Plays really nice. Thanks a lot, see you next time. <laughs>